Good evening to you. Well, I just had a little thought. I um, don't often uh, revert to Twitter or look at Twitter as it's now known as X. Uh, I do actually have 700 followers on Twitter and uh, I I'll possibly will start using it a little bit more actually. So I would actually say to you that um, just at the outset here that if you'd like to find me on Twitter under my name which is Stuart Spagatna um, I don't often put it on the video, my full name, but I'm not ashamed to, to do that. It's uh, S-T-U-A-R-T-S-P-A-G-A-T-N-E-R. -E You'll find me on Twitter. And uh, I possibly will start using it because I think that I'm going to start putting my videos on there as well. Uh, to try and get a little bit of a wider audience. And I'll do the same with Facebook. You can find me on Facebook as well. Um, I don't know that I can get to all the friend requests all at once if you do want to put some on there um, but uh, you'll find me posting on there I'll try and post a little bit more especially the videos um, as you know I'm on two other platforms besides YouTube um, I'm on Rumble and uh, I'm on um, RTN TV so uh, you can always find me and as I said I'll start to post on Twitter and, and on YouTube what's kind of precipitated me thinking about Twitter is um, there's a British broadcaster here I don't always agree with him on his politics and I certainly didn't agree with him on the Covid issue um, and uh, his, his name is James Whale and uh, he's quite a, a prolific broadcaster in the UK but he put on the uh, on his um, Twitter feed tonight that he's suffering from terminal cancer. Uh, maybe we could think of him actually in prayer, James Whale. Terminal cancer, not a believer. And uh, he was saying that uh, the, the doctors that are going on strike, and that's been happening here in the UK, the NHS doctors, even up to the level of consultant, have been going on strike. And he was saying that, that they should get back to work because he's now terminal and he's only got several months to live, if that. And um, he's concerned for people that, uh, that they get their care. Now, um, you may say, oh, why am I talking on this worldly level? Well, I was thinking tonight about our Lord Jesus. I will never leave you or forsake you, he says. And uh, it also rides on the back of what's been happening to me today. And uh, I discovered that I've got an additional problem that needs an emergency treatment. And uh, I've been looking at a, as I've been looking up to the left corner, uh, like that with my eye, I've been seeing a funny little black squiggle. And I went to the optician today, and uh, the optician said, you need emergency uh, investigation because that, that could be a retinal uh, tear in your eye, which of course is a threat to your eyesight. Well, put the wind up me a little bit, I might say. And uh, he said he'll make me an appointment for Friday. And I thought, well, is that the soonest I can get in? Because he said that this, the, your retina could detach at any moment. So I thought about this and I prayed about it. And I went over to the opposite uh, optician on the other side of the road. And I phoned them up, actually, sorry. I phoned them up and they said, yes, it is an, uh, something immediate that needs attention. But they couldn't fit me in today. So they gave me a telephone number to phone, which I did. And... Um, some time during the course of the afternoon the Lord worked and he uses the he uses the medical services and they for that uh, the one that phoned the, uh, the one that gave me the appointment for Friday phoned me up and said um, you can come in tomorrow morning we've had a cancellation for your investigation so I thought well that's incredible that's marvelous that's just what I need and it's the Lord never leaving us or forsaking us I want to emphasize of course I was worried. I mean, who wouldn't be at the thought of, of something happening to your eye and you wake up one morning and find you're blind? Um, and it's, it's quite, a, quite a disturbing, unsettling experience. So, um, bearing my humanity today, I was very pleased to say that, uh, that uh, I have an appointment tomorrow morning if you would care to pray for me. that It isn't a retinal tear. I hope it isn't. Um, I did get a phone call back actually from the, uh, the uh, NHS uh, opticians and a different optician was talking to me about it and he was saying that it doesn't have to be a retinal tear, it can just be something uh, uh, sort of like a sign of an aging situation and that one gets all these floaters and things before your eyes. So uh, there is that situation. So um, just thought I'd leave that thought with you, I haven't got the scripture but uh, 
I will never leave you nor forsake you. Maybe somebody, I'm sure, will tell me what scripture that is in the comments. Um, I just simply can't. It's just gone out of my head at the moment. And uh, just to mention, also, um, I'm down to my last eight. This is the second batch that have gone out, 2,000. And uh, getting another batch on Thursday. Those of you that would like some more, please email me if you're able to give them out to your churches. And uh, that will be good if, if you're able to reprint them. Somebody else has already reprinted them and done a good job. And they're going out. And it's for the, it's for the Lord is what matters. And um, it's for his work. And that's the most important thing. We are imperfect servants of God. We haven't reached the, uh, as Paul says, I haven't yet reached the, the, uh, the place of, of, of full reward. Sorry, was I stopping you? Uh... Oh, that's all right. No bit of parking. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I parked a little bit too close to the, uh, you know, you fall into these little yellow box lines and uh, I think I'm too far to the left and this gentleman parked next to me here. And uh, I, I was at fault, definitely. Um, so uh, I think I'll move my car a little bit more to the right. Um, sometimes we make mistakes, don't we? We're, we're not. We haven't got to the place where we even drive perfectly sometimes. <laughs> um, I actually wish I'd had an opportunity to give him a track because it was right here on my left hand side. But um, I'd actually be interested, those of you that have got the tracks, if you can let me know how it's been handing them out and what kind of responses you've had and who you've given them to. And maybe if you'd like to share the experiences with me in the comment with me in the comments, that would be great. But just to reiterate, as I say, I, I'm. Uh, I'm on Twitter, I'm on X if you want to find me, if you want to follow me, I'll be looking more and more and I'll be putting the videos on there as well. And uh, uh, it's not easy to get exposure actually on, on, on X unless you really do have thousands of followers. So uh, let's leave that with you folks and uh, I pray your evening is blessed. Oh, I haven't finished yet. Uh, just as I close the video off, I was checking up on that verse. It seems to be quoted from Deuteronomy in Hebrews 13, I think it's verse 5, and it's mentioned in um, Joshua, in the Chronicles, I think, um, and there's several scriptures and several places where that scripture is actually referred to. So if you want to look it up, I'll never leave you or forsake you, you'll see that it's mentioned more than once, and uh, it's in the Old Testament. And uh, have a good evening.